friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. I am going to share with you one more piece of my fabulous crochet hooks collection. This is one of my babies. This is one of my favorites and I've never shown the whole thing before. You've seen just a little snippet of it on one of my wish lists, but I wanted to share with you one of my favorite things. This is my Knitter's Pride Ginger Tunisian set and it is amazing. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. This one is absolutely beautiful. Leather case. Very nice. Very nice leather case. Very sturdy. Look, I've had this for a long time and it has doesn't have any creases, no blemishes, no scratches. It's perfect. I just love it. And then inside it gets even better. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 beautiful wooden hooks that are so finely polished is just amazing. This down here is all metal. You can hear it. It's metal. It has its sizes. They're engraved right into the metal. It looks like it's brass to me. And for extra fun, it has a little matching pen. So you really have everything that you need to go and make a project. Except for just add yarn. You just have to add some yarn. So you've got everything that you need right here. And in this little front pouch, I haven't taken all of these out of their plastic wrap yet. These are all of the cords and the attachments, the cords and the ends and everything that go with the Tunisian world. All of these different sizes. Get one, two, three, four, five different lengths. And again, these are metal too. So they're real screws. No snapping plastic stuff together because I think that that's just silly. But you can see these just twist together beautifully with real metal. So you can go and make that giant afghan now. And then you put the little end on the other end. Use a stopper. There's a stopper on the other end so your yarn won't fall off if you're making a very big project. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! So if you're making something really long, then you're going to have a lot of loops on your hook before you start to work the other direction. Your yarn won't fall off the hook and they come apart just as easily as they went together. I just love these hooks. They're so, so nice. Nice long screw on here too so they won't pop off while you're working with them. See, it takes off quite a few twists to get it off so there's no chance that it's going to come apart accidentally while you're working. Which I think is a very important thing with working Tunisian because you don't want to have to redo all those things and catching all of those loops can kind of be be kind of a bummer if all the stop making noise. If all of your loops fall off or you lose a couple of loops when you're doing a big Tunisian project, anybody who's ever had that happen will know how sad that will make people. So we're not going to worry about that anymore because this is the best set ever. Real metal. Everything is great. The only thing that I think is kind of a bummer is that it tells me that this is like a, an L11. I go millimeters. So I wrote, had to write myself a little cheat sheet. An L11 is an 8mm hook. Well, I can kind of tell that personally just by looking at it, but I had to write them down. So it's engraved right into the metal, which you know is a bonus for me. I have never had any kind of a snag at all. These are perfectly polished. Very, very shiny. And they go from 3.5mm right here, a 3.75, a 4mm, 4.5mm, 5mm, a 5.5mm, 6mm, six and a half millimeter, an eight, a nine, a ten, and a twelve. And I think this one's kind of cool too because there's a nine millimeter hook. You don't find those very often and it goes all the way up to a twelve. It doesn't stop at a ten. So you really have just about everything you want, especially when you're working with Tunisian and you know you have to go up a few sizes. You might find that twelve a lot more handy than you thought you would ever use a twelve. 
awesome snaps on these things too. They will never, ever fall out. Ever, ever, ever. So I'm just going to show you how beautifully these slide. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Not one snag. Even with this yarn that I've frogged out a couple of times, it has a little bit of fray into it because I use this a lot for examples and for practicing and for designing. I just happened to use this little piece and I still didn't snag anything. So even if you don't do any Tunisian projects yet or you haven't moved on to that, this is a great set. You can do anything with this. You can do small projects, you can do Tunisian, you can do you can do whatever you want to with them because it acts just like a normal hook. This whole set with 12 pieces, all of the gear to do your Tunisian with five different cords, all of the stoppers, and this awesome pen that matches. It's so cute. And this wonderful travel case that is very solid, very nice leather. Runs a about $125, $125. So it's kind of high, but when you're getting 12 hooks of this quality, Knitter's Pride stuff, 10 bucks a hook is actually a pretty darn good deal. These could be your only set of hooks. And this would be all you'd ever need because you can do almost anything you want. It goes from a three and a half all the way up to a 12. That's almost everything that you would need. Join me tomorrow and we're going to make this a Tunisian spiral with my favorite Tunisian hooks. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back tomorrow so you can see all the tricks and secrets that you need to make a perfect Tunisian circle. Thanks. Bye.